day two. It's the best entrance in the world. I have no doubt about that. It's 8.16 right now. Uh, I think the gate should be open to get into the parking lot at 8.30 and then early entries at 9. So that's the plan. Here outside Gatekeeper, it is a beautiful morning here at Cedar Point. Right now it is 8.21, so we got a little bit of time, but it's such a nice day. I just wanted to be outside right now and I just kind of taking it in. alongside Blue Streak right now. We're 111 without the discount, we're going 150. Wow. That still seems overpriced. <laughs> bro, the park's not even open. Bro just walked through the gates and he's just standing behind her. That's crazy. There was no fear at all. <laughs> so it's gonna be none. <laughs> So we are going to Millennium Force first. I'm gonna try and keep track of every single ride today. I do today. I have to pick my pick up my fast lane at some point. I don't know where the closest place to do that at is. Uh, um, I really have no idea. <laughs> okay, we'll figure it out. All right. So Millennium Force. Gonna be honest, I wasn't terribly impressed. I wasn't that impressed last time. Uh, it just doesn't really do anything. Yes, we got the first ride on the blue train, so it wasn't running that fast, but it just didn't really do anything. The overbanks were kind of whatever. Uh, the airtime was kind of non-existent, but it was still fun. Uh, the drop's really good, I, and it's smooth, and the trains are comfortable. So yeah, I actually really, I did enjoy Millennium Force, but it just it probably has to warm up some more. So we've been walking around for like a bunch of NPCs for a while now, but it looks like Maverick's open, and we got fast lane. So we're gonna skip the line on Maverick. That's a long ass line. So I just did Maverick. Uh, I was really, really good. That second launch is awesome. The first half of the layout's actually the more impressive part, but uh, that's such a fun ride. I'm definitely gonna get in line and do that again. There goes Steel Vengeance. Now we're about to do the front row. This is the same type of ride as Fahrenheit, but Maverick's definitely better than Fahrenheit. This ride's so good. It's so diverse in its elements. Maverick is definitely better in the back row. I just did the front. That's really, really good, but the forces in the back are just better. Um, that's still such a fun ride. I'm definitely gonna move that up. That's really, really good. So I'm outside the Magnum gate and there appears to be no line. I'm walking through the fast lane entrance anyways, though. My friend Trevor's running around because he doesn't have a fast lane. I'm gonna see if I can beat him to the station. Magnum in the back's honestly a little much. It's super fun though. I'm gonna get a couple more rides on that. I'm gonna try a different, couple different rows as well. All right, so I just did Val Raven and Raptor. The line for Raptor was a little longer because someone yacked on the ride right before I got on. Val Raven was really good and I think I'm gonna actually do it again. I'm gonna try to sit in the back this time. So I just did Val Raven one more time. Uh, I think I'm good on that for now because the fast lane line is horrible. Uh, but I will say it's a very nice dive coaster. It just has very basic elements. It just doesn't really have much to it. Dive coasters overall aren't my favorite type of ride. They are they are fun, but they just don't really do much. So I don't know if I got this on film yesterday, but I did corkscrew and that is awful. Those double corkscrews, they don't play. Look at this on video here. Hey, tweak your back, it hurts so bad. That's a one and done. All right, y'all. So I just got off Steel Vengeance and right when we hit the mid course, I noticed that there was a weird sound on the train. And uh, when we got back to the station, we made it, um, they shut down the ride. So on our train, there was a bad wheel. That's why they had to shut the ride down. So yeah, uh, the ride is closed right now. 
It's been a great day here so far. I've gotten, I think since I, my, I turned on my vlog my last time, I've kind of been bad about it today. I told myself I wouldn't be, but you know what it is. Um, I've gotten, uh, I got one more on Maverick, then that shut down. And then I got one on Steel Vengeance, and then that just shut down. So that's where we are right now. It's 541, we still got a bit of time here today. So we're still gonna do some more stuff, uh, but Steel Vengeance is not one of those. All right, so Steel Vengeance actually reopened. They transferred the third train off. Uh, they're doing work on it now. We may get that back later, but we'll see. So I just did Steel Vengeance one more time. I'm gonna do Maverick one more time, and I'm gonna do Magnum XL one more time, at least. 640 right now, so I definitely ha will have time for that. But we'll see what else I'm able to do. It's been a great day here so far. So I've kind of been bad about getting clips these last few hours, but really I've been kind of just running around making sure I'm just doing everything because Cedar Point, you know, that, that's kind of how it is here. But I just finished for the day. It's 8, 8 p.m. I ended with two rides on Magnum. I was gonna ride Maverick, but it broke. So I ended up getting a ride on Steve and then two more rides on Magnum. Uh, it's eight o'clock and the park is closed. So we're gonna call it there. Uh, the, today was an amazing day. I love Cedar Point. It's unbelievably busy here, but this park is so special. It has so many iconic and amazing rides uh, and I really can't recommend this place enough. That's all from Cedar Point and I will see you tomorrow from Kings Island. Goodbye.